Hey guys, if Adobe Photoshop is not opening or starting on your computer, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to provide you with some quick and easy troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix this issue. Now the very first thing we need to do is head over to our start menu and you're going to search for Adobe Photoshop, then right click on Adobe Photoshop and come into open file location, and inside of here we need to right click again on Photoshop, inside of properties, and then head over to the compatibility tab, and inside of here you need to ensure that disable full screen optimizations, and also run this program as a administrator are both ticked and you can press apply and ok to save your changes. Then we can close out of this window and next thing we're going to do is head back over to our start menu and this time search for Windows Defender. Then tap on Windows Defender Firewall and from the left here come into allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top and we need to ensure that Adobe Photoshop is added into this list here. If you already have Photoshop in this list then fantastic just make sure both private and public are ticked. If you can't see Photoshop in this list like I can't then what you need to do is come over to allow another app at the bottom here inside a browse and then we need to locate Adobe Photoshop which is usually saved inside of the C drive inside of program files inside of Adobe Adobe Photoshop 2024 and then scroll all the way down and we should find the executable file photoshop.exe which we can double click then select add and once it's inside of here make sure both private and public are ticked and you can press OK to save these changes. We can now check to see if that's fixed the issue, otherwise move on to the next step. Now, if that's still not working, the next thing I'd recommend is heading over to your Creative Cloud desktop app, and then come over to the app section in the left here, and we can try opening up Photoshop from here to see if that also fixes the issue. If that doesn't work, another thing we can do is head over to your Start menu and search for Device Manager, and then tap on the Device Manager tab, come down to Display Adapters and expand this list, and then locate your graphics card and right click, and then select Disable Device. You'll get this message pop up on the screen, just press yes to continue, and then we can re-enable the device by right clicking and selecting enable device. And the last thing we're going to do is head over to our file explorer, come over to your C drive, inside of program files, inside of the Adobe folder, inside of Adobe Photoshop, and you'll see a folder called plugins, just double click on that. Then inside of your plugins folder, you need to select everything in here by pressing Control A on your keyboard, and we're gonna move this to a different folder. I've got a folder already created on my desktop called Backup, so I'm gonna move everything to there. And if you get this message pop up, just press Continue. And once you've moved all of your plugins outside of this folder, I'd recommend restarting the application to see if that's fixed the issue. Now, obviously this removes all of your plugins, so you'll need to come into the folder that you created and move the plugins back inside of here one by one to try and eliminate which one was causing the issue. And that's it guys, hopefully by following all of these steps, that's now fixed any issues you're getting with Adobe Photoshop not opening. If this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.